What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Raven. And welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Crystal Long through the 2022, maybe 2023 edition. I don't know. Who knows? We will find out. Anywho, in our last episode, we had a full, dang near, I would like to say hour-long episode. It's pretty good. And I enjoyed playing it. I didn't really think that I would enjoy, you know, going up to the Pokemon League like that. But yeah, I enjoyed it. And yes, off screen, I did quite a bit of training. Thankfully, three of our Pokemon were good enough for, like, you know, the experience boost, especially with the experience share. So now we got a nice team going into, go, going into the Pokemon League right here. So, eight badges in all, guys. We finally got it. And now it is time to take on the Elite Four. The majority of this, uh, the Pokemon League right here will be at level 40, with the exception of a few Pokemon at level 50. This is the reason why we're, like, you know, being a little strategic. Thankfully, one of those side quests that we had to do required us to go find some, you know, certain people that gave us certain items that would boost up some certain moves and all that stuff. Very, very thankful about that. So... That right there will be, you know, what's on our Pokemon. We have equipped our Pokemon with some proper things, equipments, and all that stuff. So, here it is, guys. The very first challenger. This guy wearing a mask. Welcome to the Pokemon League, Draven. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Will. I have trained all over the world, making my psychic Pokemon powerful. And, at last, I've been accepted into the Pokemon Elite Four. I can only keep getting better. Losing is not an option. Whatever you say, homeboy. Okay, so here it is, guys. Very first Elite Four battle, and it is against Will, the Psychic-type trainer. And yes, he is coming out with a Zatu. Look at that, level 40. Okay, so we've been working for this for quite some time, and yes, we have been very strategic as of lately. We're going to keep on doing that because, well, look at that. Fluff Bolt, Thunder Punch, for the win. And yes, I did equip... Level with the magnet right here. So there we go. Experience points right there. All right, Will is gonna be coming up with a Jinx. Let's go with Hera. Let's kick some butt. Take some names right here. Anywho, there, yeah, yeah, we there, 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 there was quite a few occasions, guys, where in separate walkers I would be making every Pokemon Elite Four battle separate. I kind of figured that well. Since we're minimizing the amount of episodes and putting in a little bit more time, should probably do it right here. I mean, it's not going to take so long. Kicking some butt, taking some names, doing everything we can just to make our mama proud. And this guy's coming out with a Zatu again, so let's go with Fluff Volt right here. Alrighty. So yeah, we're doing a, we're doing a stand-up job right here. And, uh, well, I cannot wait to match up against Lance because, uh... I have a very, very good strategy against this, and oh my god, I'm confused, Ray. I hate you. I hate you. And, you know, another thing, too, that, that, that I'm very, very happy about, guys, is the fact that we, we we got to do all these episodes, like the Legendary Pokemon Battles, the Event Pokemon, way before going into the Pokemon League. I kind of feel like, you know, yeah, a whole bunch of walkthroughs have been done like that, where the, the, the Event Pokemon were done last. I kind of figured it maybe maybe a change of pace would be right here. Uh, that way we only have to worry about two legendary Pokemon rather than like six of them or so. And well, let's see. Executor, meet Hera. Hera, flamethrower for the win. Oh yes. Now some of you guys are going to be questioning, oh, how did he get his Pokemon all leveled up? Very simple guys, if you're playing the VBA, press the speed button. Just press the speed button. And then if you got boosted Pokemon, why not battle with both Pokemon? Like, keep one battling while the other one has the experience share. That way you increase the chances of leveling up two Pokemon for one. That's kind of what I did, and it took me quite a bit, but... Yeah, I managed to get it done. The only Pokemon that really, really messed me up was Serpentera. That Pokemon was a... Yeah, it was work. Little work. And here we go, Thunder Punch. Take this, Slowbro. For the win. Oh, yes. And there you go. Slowbro has been defeated. Alrighty. Okay. Pokemon are kicking ass, taking names, and Will has been dominated. He's like, I can't, I can't believe it. Believe it. Alright. Even though I was defeated, I won't change my course. 
I will continue battling until I stand above all trainers. Now, Draven, move on and experience the true ferocity of the Elite Four. Whatever you say, homeboy. Throwing up that middle finger. Okay, so this place looks familiar. We should probably change it up. Okay, so let's go straight to Hera and get ready for what's about to come right here. And believe it or not, look at this. <laughs> I am Kogo the Elite Four. I live in the shadows as a ninja. My intricate style will confound and destroy you. Confusion, sleep, poison. Prepare to be victim of my sinister technique. <laughs> Pokemon is not merely about brute force. You shall see soon enough. Oh, wow. <laughs> this guy right here is, uh, yeah, this guy is, uh, scary. So here we go, taking on Koga. And he is coming out with a big old tarantula spider called, uh, Ariados. Okay. Maximum effort, flamethrower for the win. You gotta love the boosted experience on these traded Pokemon. You have to. It's like an extra experience here if you just battle them, which is good. And look at that. More boosted experience. Oh, yes. I'm loving this. And he's about to come out with a fortress. Let's continue on with Hera. Oh, yeah. We're gonna mow through this guy's team like uh, no tomorrow. So here we go. Flamethrower for the win. Oh, yes. There we go. Fortress. Say goodbye with the quadruple damage. Oh, yeah. Steel and bug type. That's a very good one right there. And, well, let's see. Koga coming out with a muck. Let's go right ahead and change it up. Let's go with Serpentera right here. Okay, so totally random. I know, I think it was in the last episode. Maybe two episodes ago. I did say something about not using bug type Pokemon. There is a bug type Pokemon. It just popped up in my head right here. Heracross. Hercules. Yeah, that Pokemon. I did use that Pokemon, so yeah, my bad guys for forgetting about poor old Hercules. He's probably in limbo right now. And, well, this Muck did increase his strength with Acid Armor, so here we go again. Earthquake attack. And there we go. Muck has been defeated. Muck. And... Well, let's see, who's next? It's coming out with a Venomoth, so I think I got this right here. Let's go with Hera again. And bam, Venomoth. Looking like the moth that it should be. Okay, let's do it. Let's go with the flamethrower attack. Now, the good thing is that I actually saved up all, most of my ethers and, and uh, elixirs, so I can replenish all my Pokemon's, you know, PP whenever I can, because I know Towards the very end, it's gonna be an, it's gonna be a very very harsh battle right there. And well, Koga's coming out with a Crobat. This right here is going to Fluffolt. There might be a bit of a disadvantage with speed, but I have a good feeling that Fluffolt will do something fine right here. So let's go right ahead, Thunder Punch it, and here comes a double team attack. Okay, so this is the strategy he's been talking about. Unfortunately, he's gonna get hit. Nothing, and I mean nothing stops my Fluffolt. That's right. Say goodbye to Crobat. Okay. Alrighty, so Koga, you have been defeated. Ugh. You have proven your worth. Yes, I have. Thank you. Thank you very much. I subjected you to, to everything I could muster, but my efforts failed. I must hone my skills. Go on to the next room and put your abilities to the test. Okay, alrighty, so let's go right ahead and switch it up right here. I think it's time for Torpedo to take the lead right here. Alright, see ya, Koga. Thanks for the battle. Alright, look at the lava pool right here. Okay. Let's go, Mr. Buff Bagwell. I am Bruno of the Elite Four. I always train to be extreme because I believe in our potential. That is how we became strong. Can you withstand our power? Hmm. I see no fear in you. You look determined. Perfect for battle. Ready, Draven? You will bow down to the overwhelming power. Hoo-ha! To our overwhelming power. The voice, the voiceovers and all that stuff, is, uh, it comes extra. So here we go, taking on Bruno. It looks like he uh, lost a little bit of muscle right there, but it's all right. And, oh, crap, baskets. Yeah, we're going up against him on top. I actually thought he was going to come out with, like, an onyx. Yeah. So... 
Eh, screw it. Surf attack. And yes, I did teach uh, Torpedo Dragon Breath just for the final battle right here. And there we go. Hit him on top. How's it going? It's sick. Oh, wow, it's digging. All right. I know what to do right here. Okay, so let's go right ahead and use Togapri. Togapri, you, 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 you are amazing right here because look at this. Dig attack does not affect Togapri. Luckily for us, we actually taught, or we actually gave Togapri the sharp beak, so this next attack is gonna hurt. It's going to hurt. So here comes a detect, and wow, he's being big. Okay. I see. I see you, Bruno. Okay. I see what you're doing right there. He's gonna go for another quick attack. Alright. Let's go. Fly attack right here, and here comes a quick attack again. Alright. Here comes the pain. Brock Lesnar. Not really. I don't think Brock Lesnar would be like a fairy type or anything like that. And, well, here we go. More experience points for all of us. And, well, he's going to be coming out with an Onyx. Probably should have led with that. So, let's go with Torpedo. I'm saving Chico for last, guys. I really am. He might be needed for something else. Strategy. I'm already picturing the battle against Lance. So, here we go. Surf attack for the win. And... There you go. Look at that. Okay. Alrighty. And there goes Onyx. You know, you could evolve your Pokemon to Steelix. You know, just to show brute strength. But, eh, well, you know, it is what it is. So, let's go straight to Togepi right here. And... Alrighty. Hitmonlee. Ready to just kick. Kick, kick, kick. Alrighty. Here we go. Togepi. How's it going? Fly attack. And here comes a Swagger. Oh, crud baskets. So this will increase our attack, but it will confuse us. This is a double-edged sword right here for both, and... Oh, wow. Okay, so we got one attack off. I don't think the next one will do, but he just did a high jump kick, and that hurt him. And we are not confused, so... Oh, wow! Hitmonlee just gave us a boost! Oh, my God. Hitmonlee, you, you, oh, my God. Oh my god, okay, so he's coming out with a Hitmonchan, I'm going to continue with Togepi because thanks to Bruno, we got an extra boost. So let's go, fly attack and crap. Didn't know Togepi was that slow, thankfully it does not faint right now. So here we go, fly attack, ice punch again, and here comes the fly attack, thanks, thanks to Bruno. And there you go, Hitmonchan. You have been defeated. Okay, all right, all right. And, well, let's see, he's coming out with a Machamp. This is a very, very strong Pokemon, so just be aware of this. Look at all four of its hands right here. It does no Rock Slide, so that right there will do its damage. And this might be the end of Togepi right here. And, oh, it survived! Oh, oh crap, Baskets. Okay. How are we slower than Machamp? That is my question. Okay, so... Let's go with Chico. Alright, let's get a beefy Pokemon right here. And here comes the Rock Slide. It is not going to be powerful. Boom. And there we go. We got a Rock Slide off. So here we go, Poison Powder. Damn it! Okay, so... Alright, difficulties right there. Cross Chop. It's uh, going to hit us a little hard. Let's go again, Poison. There we go. Okay. Alrighty. So, you are Poison, my friend. Either way, we're gonna win. If we don't get something off in the last next minute or so. And there we go, you're Poisoned. Okay, so, let's see. Let's go with a Body Slam. And... That will take a little bit. So here comes a Cross, uh, cross Shove. That will end Chico. I hate you. Okay. So, let's see. We got two Pokemon down. Let's go with Torpedo. Alright, we're a little faster than you. Time to take this Dragon Breath right here. This is bad breath at its worst. There we go. And... Oh, Machamp, you are surviving! Okay! And... Wow. This Machamp will not go down. And... Well, there's that poison. Let's go right ahead. Surf attack for the win. 
And yeah, Bruno, being a good trainer that he is, is using a max potion rather than, you know, a full restore. You know, they could have helped out. And there we go. Surf attack. Hits him pretty hard right there. Okay, so you are hurt, my friend. Okay, so let's go with the smoke screen just to, you know, just to add a little, a little blindness to this guy. He's not going to be able to see just a little. And that cross chop does not hit, so there we go. Okay, so let's go with the surf attack for the win. Alrighty, alrighty. Yes. And there you go, Machamp has been defeated. Torpedo grows to level 48. Okay. And uh, Togepi grows to level 49. Okay. Alrighty, so I saw the freaking stats right there. Holy crud. Yeah, my team is a slow team. <laughs> Having lost, I have no right to say anything. Go face your next challenge. Whatever you say, homeboy. Thankfully, we are very good trainers, and we stocked up on some items right here, so... Yeah, full restores, we bought the crud out of them. Sold a lot of stuff just to get that, and uh, where, are, where are my revives? Oh yeah, we have three max revives, just in case. I'm not going to use the, the max revives just yet. That's just for in-game stuff, and... Wait, where's the revives? Oh, buckets. Oh, buckets! I didn't save it. Crap baskets. Okay. Well, that, that's what happens when you get a little too cocky. Alright. So we need to use one of those uh, max revives. Yeah. <laughs> Holy crud. Yeah. Wow. Way to go, Draven. Way to go. I seriously thought I bought those, those repel or those... those those revives. Okay, so yeah, this is gonna suck. Hopefully there's another max revive out there. Usually I save those max revives for like, you know, intense battles. Very, very intense battles like the one with Lance in ra red. Okay, so we got these guys done. The next trainer is a dark type trainer, so you know what? Let's go with Serpentera. I still have the Quick Claw on that Pokemon, just in case anything gets a little loopy. And... let's see... Hmm. Alright, let's go. I am Karen of the Elite Four. You're Draven? How amusing. I love Dark-type Pokemon. I find their wild, tough to image to be uh, so appealing, and they're so strong. Think you can take them? Just try to entertain me. Let's go. Okay. So, I, I guess this is a fair enough challenge, you know. Power up my Pokemon with only two revives. Crab baskets. Okay, so, a challenge accepted. Alright, let's go. Maximum effort. Let's go, Umbreon. What do you got? Let's go with a Screech attack. Now, ah, oh, crap baskets. So, there is something about umbreon that i've learned from pokemon stadium or pokemon coliseum and that is that its defense is its uh, strength not only that but its speed over my serpentera it's gonna try and chop it down and it is hitting me okay so here we go a screech attack which will decrease its defense sharply this will go with a rock slide or right yeah and i don't know why you're trying to do a mean look i'm not intending to leave and there we go rock throw that takes... that doesn't take a lot, so we're gonna have to go with an Iron Tail right here. So, Battle of the Two New Typings of Generation 2. And... here we go, Iron Tail. Finish it! And... there we go, Ombreon has been defeated. Okay, alrighty, so strategy's working, and well, she's coming out with a Vile Plume. I know how to deal with this Pokemon right here. Let's go with Hera. Hero, the Hound Dower, or Hound Doom, I should say. Okay, what's up? How's it going, Vile Bloom? Okay, let's go with a flamethrower attack for the win. Oh yeah. And where is this flamethrower going? And there goes Vile Bloom. Vile Bloom is not loving what it's doing, and well, there we go, increasing more. And let's see, what is next? Murkrow coming out. Thankfully, no Hunchkrow exists by this point. We're gonna go with Fluff Vault. So I think we're okay. We're gonna be okay. Yeah, we're gonna be fine. 
Yeah, we're gonna be fine right here, so here comes Fluff Volt. Fluff Volt, let's go with a Thunder Punch, and maybe I should have used a Thunder Wave before anything, but... There we go. Faint Attack does its trick, and here comes Thunder Punch. And there we go, Murkrow has been defeated. Alrighty. Okay, alrighty, so the least damage we do, the more we can actually progress, and well... Let's go back to Hera the Hound Hour, or Houndoom, I should say. And, well, look at this. He's just wiggling, wiggling around. Gengar is going to be a little faster than most Pokemon right here, so... We just get to, you got to be careful with that. So here comes Faint Attack. And that right there is super effective. Don't know why Gengar is, you know, is a Dark-type Pokemon of some sorts. I don't know. And, well, there we go. It... Did a bit of a self, yeah, self thing, or yeah, self, yeah. That that was not cool. All right, so she's coming out with Houndoom. We gotta switch out her Pokemon because the next one, it won't be so lucky. It's gonna take some damage, some massive damage. And here she comes out with her own Houndoom. And well, let's go straight for Torpedo. Torpedo, Surf Attack for the win. And just like that, our Doom has been... Come on, defeat it. Defeat it, defeat it, yes. How's it feel to fail? There we go, Torpedo. Taking some more experience points right there. Look at that, Karen is not happy. Well, aren't you good? I like that in a trainer. Okay, she's not that mad. Strong Pokemon. Weak Pokemon. That is the only selfish perception of people. Truly skilled trainers should try to win with their favorites. I like your style. You understand what's important. Go on. The champion is waiting. Okay, so this one is going to be intense because, well, as you guys probably already saw, I don't. I only have two max revives. That's it. This? <laughs> I, I Again, I did this on my own, so I'm going to look at my phone to remember... What exactly was the the order of Pokemon right here that he had? So I'm gonna go to the Elite Four. Is it cheating? No, it's not. Come on. I just need to remember what 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 what's his starter. Let's see. Spin-off games, core games. There you go. And Lorelai, you are gorgeous. Mm, 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 mm. And okay, so that doesn't really help me. That really doesn't help me. Holy crud. Okay, gold, silver, crystal. Good gravy, okay. Uh, do, 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 do. Oh, you know what? Maybe I should go with Lance right here. Just pick Lance. And go off to the core series. Let's see. What is your starter Pokemon right here? Indigo Plateau. This is Gold, Silver, Crystal, where you look like Batman. And, oh. Would you look at that? Okay, so. We got this. We got this, guys. We got this. We got this, okay? Why, why does it sound like I'm scared? Okay, here we go. Bring it. Look at this arena right here. Now, this is a big change from Pokemon Gold and Silver where it's not much decorating. Not a lot of thought into it, but let's do it. I've been waiting for you. Draven. I knew that you, with your skills, would eventually reach me here. There's no need for words now. We will battle to determine who is the stronger of the two of us. As the most powerful trainer and as the Pokemon League champion, I, Lance the Dragon Master, accept your challenge. Bring it on. Okay, so here it is, guys. Taking on Batman himself, Champion Lance. Seriously, do you have to wear a cape? Okay, so here we go. He is coming out with his Gyarados. Not a red Gyarados, but a Gyarados itself. And, uh, well, let's go with a Thunder Wave right here just to make sure this Pokemon stays paralyzed, stays slow, and everything else in between. And would you look at that? He's using a Rain Dance. You just helped me a lot more, man. You just know that. Here we go. Thunder Punch for the win. Magnetize and everything. Come on. Quadruple damage plus that Rain Dance. Bam. How's it feel to fail? Okay, so that right there 
gets Fluffle to level 52 right now. What's the next Pokemon? Bring him. I can take on anyone. And he's coming out with a Dragonite, so we're gonna go with Fluffle right here. Because it's all about the Strategimajig. Let's go Thunder Wave yet again. There we go. We're gonna slow down his Dragonite just to make sure he doesn't slow me out. And, well, I was correct about that. He does like to do that. Alright, Thunder Punch. And here comes a Hyper Beam. Holy buckets, this one's gonna hit. And... Okay, so here we go, Thunder Punch. And... There we go. Okay, so it takes more damage. So let's go right ahead and get another Thunder Punch in. Since it needs to recharge in the next turn. And... Oh! Nearly defeats him. And here comes a Hyper Beam again. Come on. Stay put, Fluffbolt. Stay. Stay. There we go. There we go. Okay. So Fluffbolt survives that one. Okay. So he's going to be coming out with his second dragon. I am not taking any chances. Let's go with Torpedo. And this Dragonite right here is the level 47 version. Imagine having three Dragonites. And, well, Torpedo is a lot faster. Here comes Dragon Breath, courtesy of your best friend, Claire. And this one... Oh, doesn't paralyze this Pokemon. Good gravy! Okay, come on. Let's go. And here comes a Hyper Beam. Yeah, these guys are going to try and hit you with everything they got. And that right there, crap baskets. Okay, come on. Must recharge. There we go. We're taking advantage of that recharge part. And just like that, Dragonite has been defeated. Okay. Bam! Grows level 49. Okay. Woo! Oh, man. Oh, man. He's coming out with another Dragonite. So this could be a risk, but I'm going to do it. I'm going to go with Chico. Mainly because... This is where I need to be strategic. Level 50 Dragonite. I need to chip it down. Let's go straight for a Poison Powder. There we go. Alrighty, Dragonite. You don't like that, huh? And here comes its Fire Blast. Okay, so I was a, I was correct about something about this guy. And this will actually hit me pretty hard. And you know what? I probably should use Chico as a Sacrificial Lamb for this, por this portion right here. So here we go with a light screen attack. And that right there will take away Dragonite's ability to actually hit me pretty hard with any of its special attacks. As you can see, that's right. Draven can be strategic too, so let's go. Um, holy crap baskets, okay. Let's go with Torpedo right here. Alrighty. Bring it. And here comes an Outrage. Crap Baskets. Okay, so that is not good. Or it, or is it? And this one right here. Okay, so this is a probably good territory right now. Let's go right ahead and use a Full Restore. Right here. Torpedo. Yeah, we're being very strategic about this one right here, guys. We gotta take deep breaths and just really hit this high hard. So here comes another Outrage attack, and I think it is a special attack. I could be wrong. And that right there is hurt by poison. So we need to slow this guy down just a tad bit, so let's go with an Icy Wind. There we go. And... That defeats Dragonite! <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Alright, Chico, you gain your points. You did your job right there. And, well, he's coming out with a Charizard. Okay, bring him out. What's up, Charizard? Eat this Surf Attack. There we go. Okay, alrighty. Look at that. What do, you, what, what, what do you think about that now? Look at that. Oh my god. Charizard has been defeated. Oh, yes. Okay. So who's next? Aerodactyl. Okay, we're gonna continue on right here. Alright, bring it. Just bring it, Aerodactyl. And 
Well, our light screen has fallen off, but we do have the type advantage, and this guy is going to be going for an ancient power. Now, there is just one little thing about this Pokemon. It is super fast, so just be aware of that. I think you can paralyze it with Thunder Wave, even though it's a rock type. I could be wrong, and it doesn't survive throwing out the mother grabbing peace sign. Yes, Torpedo grows to level 50. I'm throwing out the sucking sign, yes! It's over. But it's an odd feeling. I'm not angry that I lost. In fact, I feel happy. Happy that I witnessed the rise of a new great champion. Yeah, you're probably just happy because you don't have to do this anymore, right? Whew. You have become truly powerful, Draven. Your Pokemon have responded to your strong and upstanding nature. As a trainer, you will continue to grow strong with your Pokemon. I hope so. Uh-oh. Oh, no! It's all over! Professor Oak, if you aren't so slow... Oh, uh, well, you know, he is what he is. Ah, Draven! It's been a long while! You certainly look more impressive. Your conquest of the League is just fantastic. Your dedication, trust, and love for your Pokemon made this happen. Your Pokemon were, uh, were outstanding, too! Be or because they believed in you as a trainer. They persevered! Congratulations, Draven. Let's interview the brand new champion. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. This is getting to be a bit too noisy. Draven, could you come with me? Sure, why not? And Mary's not too happy about this. It's like, oh, wait! We haven't done an interview! And, yeah, she you can tell she's not happy. Well, here is the Hall of Fame, and Lance is like, it's been a long time since I last came in here. This is where we honor the League Champions for all eternity. Their courageous Pokemon are also inducted. Here today, we witness the rise of a new Pokemon League Champion, a trainer who feels compassion for and trust towards all Pokemon. A trainer who succeeded through perseverance and determination. The new League Champion who has all the makings of greatness. Draven, allow me to register you, your Pokemon, you and your partners as champions. Alrighty, look at that. Yeah, that's right. You didn't like that, huh? How'd you like them lemons? Yeah. So here it is, guys. Fluffolt. Yeah, buddy. Oh, shoot. Serpentera. Man, this Pokemon is a tank. Torpedo. Speedo Torpedo. Here we have... Hera! How's it going? Here we have... Togepi! Togepi, how's it going? And last but not least... BAM! E Chico! Oye Chico! And here is the bad guy himself, Draven. So, it looks like I have a 189 Pokemon seen and 65 owned, and the rating is to evolve. Some Pokemon grow, others use effects of stones, which I do know that. Whew! Alrighty, okay! Oh man, I feel like weight has been lifted off my shoulders. Okay, so, here's the, here's the last part of the whole thing right here, guys. Um, I just want to say thank you. Thank you for, you know, re-watching this new walkthrough. I've done this walkthrough like about four times already. Two as Draven XC711 and two right now as Gym Leader Draven. And again, you know, very thankful that you guys have accepted this walkthrough and all that stuff. I'm very happy with the way it's coming, you know, with all the planning and all that stuff. And many of you guys have taken a liking to the, the whole trade episodes. I would love to do more trade episodes. I don't think I'm going to be able to do so because I'm trying to prevent the whole... Um, I'm trying to prevent this game from freezing or from staying in one place. I want to save this for Pokemon Stadium 2. Yes, we're still doing that, guys. Um, as for the Kanto region, all right. So I will be bringing in my Pokemon from the Kanto region. We're talking about the Pokemon Yellow team. Yes, we're going to be leveling them up. Uh, we're not gonna be trading them over to Pokemon, you know, Crystal. We're gonna, you know, we're gonna grab some of these Pokemon, or, you know what, some, we're gonna breed, trade back, and all that stuff. 
And, uh, yeah, we're gonna have the old Pokemon here with us. And, uh, I don't think it will be that long for me to finish up the Kanto region, so hopefully we'll get that in pretty soon now that I got free time. In the meantime, guys, yes, Pokemon Emerald will be coming out very, very soon. The next walkthrough in this whole remake and all that stuff, plus other things. Thank you guys again for watching. I'll see you guys in the next episode as we go into Kanto. See you guys. Oh, that smells so bad. <laughs>